Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to open Photoshop files if you don't have Photoshop. So maybe you have purchased a file and you didn't realize that you were purchasing a Photoshop file. You don't have Photoshop and you've come to realize you can't open that file. Well, now you can and you can do it for free. So let's take a look at this file here. This is a clip art set. This is not something that would typically be a Photoshop, Photoshop file. This would normally be PNG or JPG files. But as you can see here, this one is PSD. And if you scroll down and you read the description here, one PSD with layers. Okay, so I'm gonna take this from beginning all the way through. I'm gonna download this. I've already downloaded it, you can see, but I'm gonna download it again so that you can see how this process works. So here is my download. It will pop up here in just a minute. There it goes. Okay, so this is downloaded. Mother and Baby Clip Art Creator PSD. I'm going to click into it. Now this is gonna go wherever you have your downloads set up. If you don't have the updated windows, it's gonna come down here. If you have them set to go to a specific file on your computer, it's gonna go wherever you tell your downloads to go. Okay, so I've clicked into the zip folder to unzip it. Now I'm gonna double click into this folder. Okay, this is gonna look a little different. Since I don't have Photoshop, I open all of my Photoshop files in Affinity Designer. It's another program that you can do this in. It's not free though. So mine automatically show up as Affinity Designer files. Yours will show up as a PSD file. If you're coming to this video, it's probably because you already have a PSD file on your computer. So this is, this is the PSD file. I am going to minimize that. I'm gonna grab this and just drag it to my desktop. Okay, so that's on my desktop now. Let's see how to open it for free. To do this, we're gonna come to a website called Photopea. Okay. So Photopea mimics Photoshop. It does a lot of the same things that Photoshop does, except for it's an online platform and it's free. So because it's free, we have these ads over here. Just ignore those. Okay, when you already have a Photoshop file downloaded on your computer, you want to use this selection, open from computer. And then you just come and find the file. I believe it was mother, mother and baby. I'm gonna double click and it's gonna open that file in Photopea. Just like that, the file is opened. The file that you never saw because you weren't able to open it will magically be open in Photopea. Now, if you're not familiar with Photoshop and how it works, you might not know how to use this file. So let me go over some of the key things to get you using this file. The most important thing is gonna be your layers tab over here. This is the organization of your file. This is how you find everything that you're looking for. So with this set that we got here, you know, we had these different moms, they had different hair, different shirts, pants, different skin tones, and then we had the babies. And the babies also had the different um, clothing color, hair color, skin tones. So in this, we're gonna be clicking through, if we just kind of look through the designer's photos here, you'll see all the different things that you can get. So these are layer, or these are labeled over here so you know what you're working with. Baby's hair, mother's hair, sneakers, baby's onesie, mother's t-shirt, mother's jeans, baby skin, mother's skin. Okay, well, let's start with the mother's hair. So I'm just going to click into this arrow and open up all the different options for mother's hair. We have got mother's hair 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, you see how this I symbol is here? Right now, mother's hair 6 is what is in the design. If I close that I or click it, her hair went away. So let's pick a different hair. Let's do mother's hair seven. I am not a blonde, I'm not down with that. Let's see. 
Let's go for maybe mother's hair 11 or mother's hair 12. Oh, wow, that is some colorful hair. I'm gonna go with mother's hair 10. That's kind of exactly what I got rocking right now. Okay, um, white t-shirt, that's fine with me. The pink pants, that's actually fine with me too. Uh, let's change the shoes. So to get rid of all of this, I'm gonna close up the mother's hair tab and I'm gonna go find the shoes. Where are the shoes? Sneakers, okay. So I'm gonna open the sneakers tab. And I don't really want green sneakers. Let me see, that's what's here, green. Let's go and see what about sneaker six, gray. That's good, I like gray, I'll stick with that. Okay, let's design the baby. So we're gonna close up the sneakers and we're going to design the baby onesie. So we can see now the eye is open on baby onesie 10. Let's close that eye and maybe make this a boy baby. So let's try baby onesie seven. Yellow, no. Five, no. One, blue, yep, okay. So I'm gonna leave baby onesie one on so that it's a blue. Let's change that baby's hair. What are we gonna go to? We're gonna go to baby's hair. <laughs> Open that up. Um, Let's try hair six. Okay, I'm good. So the only other thing I would want to do here is maybe change the skin tones. Um, that's up to you, however you wanna do that. This is how the file works. A lot of them are going to have this background option as well. Now, right now, you see this checkered look back here? That means there's no background on it. This file comes with a background because we have this background layer here. If you turn it on, she has given you just a plain white background. And she also has provided a sketch. Now, watch the design as I click this sketch off. Do you see what happened? There was literally a pencil sketch all the way around. I'm going to turn it back on. And now the sketch is back on. If you don't know what's in your file, if they're labeled and you just aren't quite sure what those labels are, just start turning off the eyes. As you turn the eyes off, you'll see things disappear. And that will let you know what those things actually are. Let's do one more file. Um, just so that you can see how to edit text and add photos. Okay, the next one, I had found um, this kids menu. This isn't really anything that I would have ever used or downloaded, but I wanna show you if you accidentally download a PSD file that's got words on it and you need to edit it, you can do that in PhotoP as well. I'm gonna close PhotoP. I'm gonna download this file again, just to go through that process again. So download, here it comes up here. It's scanning it. Okay, restaurant menu, double click to unzip my file. And this is the one I'm going to want. So I'm gonna minimize that, drag it to my desktop. And now I can close that folder. And let's go to photop.com. Okay, open from computer. Let's go find that file. And remember again, yours will be a PSD file. Mine is showing up as an Affinity Designer file because I have Affinity Designer on my computer and it's what I choose to do them as. Not that Photop isn't great because it is. Okay, so here's the file. So this one, there's things over here as well. Again, we can click through, vector smart object, text, all the text went away, more smart objects. If you don't know what it is you're looking at, just start clicking these and see what disappears and what comes back so that you know what you need to edit. I know I need to edit this text, so I immediately want to open up the text folder. Okay, info, what text is that? Okay, did y'all see what went away? It was down here. If I turn the eye back on, I can change all of this restaurant info. Let me make this bigger. Okay, so let's say I want to change 
the food menu. Okay, let's see over here. There's actually one labeled food menu. And then we have food, um, food menu name, $5, food menu name, $5. That's all of these. So let me just click into the first one. Okay, so I clicked this one and you'll notice it highlighted down there. I'm gonna click around until I get that first one. It's down here. These are not in the best order. If you don't like the order they're in, you can drag them around. Do you see how that's moving? Or you can just continue to click around and find what it is you're looking for. Okay, so this is selected. I want to change the text. I need to come over here and highlight my type tool. Okay. Now, I literally just backspace, let's say we want to have um, pizza. I typed in pizza and I'm just spacing out until I get that $5 to line up with the other $5. Let's say I still want it to be $5. Okay, and then I don't need this French down here. I actually need my pizza choices, uh, choice of toppings okay so let's move on to our next one let's see food menu name that should be this one yep okay and i'm gonna backspace and i'm gonna put um chicken nuggets no nuggets and for here i need to backspace just a little bit to make these line up Okay, so that's how the text is gonna work. You will go through and find all of your text options and change them to what you want them to be. If you want to change any of the other elements on here, um, let's say I don't want special menu. I, that's not anything I want. I can close the eye and that goes away. Whatever this little thing here is, I don't want it. So I come in and I find its little folder and I close its eye. There it is. Okay, so that's how those things work. You can delete anything you don't want. You can change the text as long as you are in your text tool over here. You can change the text on anything. Um, $6.99, you know, whatever. We want that to be smaller. That's way too big. It doesn't fit on the little star come up here to the size. And again, this is only available when you're in your text tool. And let's take this down to, let's say 100. Well, I guess it helps if I highlight this. <laughs> okay. And now it's there in the star. So you would play with that and get that looking exactly how you want it. I'm not gonna spend so much time on that because that's not really the purpose of this video. That's how you do the text. Now for the photo. If you want to add a photo in, you are going to want to find the photo section. So let's see here. Okay, image, there it is. When you see these little um, square inside of square things on your um, on your layers. This means there's a smart object. Smart object is a Photoshop way of easily importing photos and making them fit or align perfectly. There's a lot more to it than that, but that's the gist of it. You will double click it, the little square, and it's going to open a new screen. You see, we were here. And this is where all of our layers were. When we double clicked, let me go back down to it. When we double clicked that little square on the image tab, it gave us a new tab over here. And this is where you will put your photos. Something specific with Photopea, you cannot file and open or import. You have to drag it from the desktop. So I'm gonna minimize and I already have this like hamburger thing over here. Just going to click it and drag it in. So it's loading and now it's in. Make that larger and just kind of position it 
in the middle here, and you'll get these registration marks that are showing you where your design is. Okay, and then you want to file, save smart object. That saves the photo that you just put in so that when you click back over here into your original tab, it is in there, and that is way too big. So let's make it smaller. Okay, let's see how that's gonna go. File, save smart object, smart object saved. Click back over here. It still wasn't working for me. <laughs> I'm gonna resize it from over here. Okay, so you can see that that little bubble is still behind there. If I want to delete that, I need to delete it from the smart object layer. So I'm coming back over here to my smart object. Let me move this. I selected it and I'm just gonna hit backspace to delete it. Then I'll put this guy back in there. Again, file, save smart object. And let's check it out. Okay, there we go. So that's the hamburger, the kids menu, and all the little changes that we've made. That is how you work with Photopea. It's really, really easy to get all of your things in. So if you have accidentally downloaded a Photoshop file, don't worry about it. When you're done, you file and you can save as another Photoshop. Um, you can export it as a PNG, JPG. Those are probably the only two you're gonna wanna deal with, um, but yeah. So you'll export, I did export to PNG. It's gonna pop up your little menu. This is the menu that it's popped up here. You can name it if you wanna change its name and you hit save and you're all done. So it's that easy, don't fret. If you have a Photoshop file and you don't know how to open it, you can open it for free with Photopea. That's all I've got guys, we'll see you next time.